I pulled a bit of bar stock out of my scrap box and we're going to turn this into um, both a installation tool and a removal tool for the Marini rocker bushes. So I'm just going to first of all face this bar off. Now hopefully the camera won't shake too much. I've got it uh, mounted on a clamp on the tailstock and uh, we'll see if it holds and hopefully I won't be diving down the back of the lathe to try and catch the camera. I've got it faced off. And I'm just going to take a skim cut over the outside diameter. <laughs> help if we had the feed on. There's obviously some pretty nice free machining bar. What I shall do now, just come in here, here with the vernier. Oh, I should say caliper, seeing as it's a digital and doesn't actually have a vernier scale. And I'm getting 18.84 on here. Uh, now, a while back I equipped my lathe with a direct readout or digital readout depending on how you want to read the acronym and uh, it's a very worthwhile investment particularly on this lathe as I'll maybe explain at a later point but I can now set the X to 18.84 and now the display is reading out the diameter of the work and I can just happily turn away down to the diameter I want. Now the rocker bush is uh, 15 um, millimeters nominal OD so I'm going to turn down to 14.9 uh, which will give me a bit of clearance and do a nice simple removal tool. So this is you can come take a millimeter off easy. So.
Okay, got about 15.12 on the display at the moment. So I'm just going to check the reading on the caliper and see if we still agree. A little under 15.09. So at this point, I can put that in and know that uh, I'll get an accurate reading. So I'm uh, gonna put a slightly finer feed on, and we'll come down to. 14.95 should be a sensible <laughs> Talking complete nonsense at this point. The size I want is 14 millimeter for the bush, not 15. 15 is the incorrect oversized bushes that I had. So I can pull a good chunk of this off. It's come down to 14, two or thereabouts in a single pass. in agreement again. Yep, pretty much. So we'll come down 14 and then I'll give it a little skin to be underside, undersize in the rocker thereafter. <laughs> Point nine five should do the trick. Just gave the shoulder a little bump at the end to get it nice and square. And I'm just going to go and get the rocker and we'll check the fit on there. Right, I'm going to 
easy sliding fit and I'm just going to bump the end down to form a little pilot for when the bush is fitted so if I just touch my tool onto the end I can set my Z axis to zero and up to the side of the rocker is about four millimeters so I'll take about four millimeters down on the end and we can come straight down to thirteen and a half things easier. I'll bring the bed stop up. Not too critical. Okay, I'll do over 12 there and just check that we're in agreement again yeah, pretty much bang on so I'll go down to 11 9.5 a little bit of clearance Swap the tool out. I'll put my chamfering tool in. I'm just going to break all these edges if I can reach into all of them. Leave the bed stop out of the way. people would part off, I might part off sometimes, but uh, it's just as easy on this for me to go and slap it in the bandsaw, spin it round and face it off. Um, so that's what I'll do. And then put the bar back in again and I'll make the installation tool. Okay, this is the uh, installation tool we're doing this time. You see I'm partially done. Um, I want it to have um, most of the diameter at the um, to fit down the inside of the bush then there'll be a short step uh, at the to be clearance on the inside diameter of the rocker and the length of that step will uh, install the bush central in the rocker 
uh, and then we come hard up against the shoulder. So it's down at around 14.2 at the moment. Just check that we're still in agreement, and we are. So I'll take that down to face there. So I'm going to zero the DRO and I know that the rocker has a width call it 15.5 the bush was 14.9 so we want the uh, the bush to be 0.3 millimeters in from the edge of the rocker. So what I'll do is with the bed clamp tightened, I'll just use it to drive the saddle out to 0.3. And now we can take This diameter down now needs to be um, 11.95, so I can take it down to 13 in a single pass. getting a little bit of spring in the work so it's cutting a bit on the back but that's uh, no problem so let's come down to 11.95 take our final pass Pretty much took nothing except right at this this end where it sprung a little. So all I'm going to do now is break the corners with the chamfer tool, and that should be the installation tool pretty much done. Take the bed 
stuff out of the way. Now I'm just going to spin that around and face the other end where it was sawn off. Call that done.